if anybody wants to talk about something else, I'll be over here having a sip of tea, just enjoying <laughs> some nice. I don't know, but not this. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I, I read the Wikipedia. I did my part. I participated. <laughs> I did my We're part. done here. We're but done so, here. Uh, We're done so just, here. What does it mean to fold it in? Like, what do you mean? And it's like, if I, I'm not going to say it again. And it I'm means like, take <laughs> the fabric of reality and fold it. But which <laughs> way? In which reality? Which dimension? In! If it's like a <laughs> thing, I'm following those instructions. You know, if it's a desk or a chair or like a thing. <laughs> but here's the thing. If it's, any, if it's a piece of electronic equipment, bin that shit. I know how electronics work. I got it. <laughs> and then three years later, wait, it could do that? <laughs> <laughs> Ron Perlman was in a was in a was in a weird movie. That's, that's his career. That's not. I just yes. described his career. I was like, that doesn't <laughs> narrow down at all. That is that is he so far in- every Perlman movie. Welcome to All Topics New Pizza, where we start with a single idea, then add new topics until we forget that we're painting, and all of a sudden there's paint all over the carpet. I am Matt, also known as Ruminous. I'm just Dion. Dick Fight Island, guys. That's what I'm talking about at the beginning of this show, is the new manga that's sweeping the nation. It's called Dick Fight Island. It Sorry, is. guys. <laughs> I will be absent probably for the next 30 <laughs> minutes or so. <laughs> Why Most of the time, anytime anime, <laughs> manga, or pretty much anything around that comes up, I will not be participating. Not out of any hatred, but because I have nothing to add. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Why can I already hear the flutes? The <laughs> I don't know, man. All I'm saying. The flutes are deafening right now. It is It is a cacophony of just different <laughs> flutes happening right now. No, no. We were. I don't know what it is we were talking about pr- prior to the show that got... The obsession with this in my ha- mind. Dick Fight Island, if you're not aware, is a manga, I guess, uh, a light yaoi novel about I really, about really eight want to censor men. Ev- <laughs> Every time he says Dick Fight Island, I really want to censor the dick part. Yeah, but, no, man, absolutely. Like, but let like let the first be- dick roll, and then and then after that, you can censor it. Or- it's gonna be like 18 <laughs> hours of me editing flutes every time because it's gonna come up so many times. <laughs> Japan, uh, they're all weird. <laughs> they they are weird. Although, again, you look at you look at American video games and animation, it's the same way. Uh, oh, all the <laughs> women are just redi- like Jessica Rabbit levels of just like this is impossible. You realize that, right? The human proportions just don't match up. This is not you, the, the waist, uh, the <laughs> waist, and the butt, and the the oh, boobs, and mm-hmm. everything. It just doesn't match. It just it's not possible. Stop it. I love that she's completely clad, reasonably. Who, Amazing. the woman? Yeah. That's a man. Of course their, it is. Their dick is a whip. Of course it is. <laughs> um, I, I love, don't think I'm going to put I this... I'm not going to put this one in the episode uh, no, uh, Discord there, because there's one on the left there that is just too much for me to... Yeah, there's one on the right. There's, they're, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere, man. It's all, the second, all of them. It's all of them. They're all no, terrible. No, my, my favorite is the second to the right one that has... Um, uh, the shoulder, the the seat, not, not the not the both, the single shoulder armor, oh, then yeah. nothing, <laughs> and then the dick armor. Yeah, it would be different if it was like they just trained to fight this way for some reason, but instead they made sure that they took it to eleven, and the competition <laughs> is to fight to orgasm. And no, 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 no. The the competition the, is fighting. The Wikipedia says the competition is a fight between champions representing the eight clans with men who orgasm first, losing the battle. 
Oh, it shit. Is a fight to the orgasm. <laughs> if anybody wants to talk about something else, I'll be over here having a sip of tea, just enjoying some <laughs> nice... I don't know, but not this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I am I read the Wikipedia. I did my part. I participated. <laughs> did my We're done part. here. We're but done so- <laughs> here. We're done here. Basically, this guy stayed like the weekend at his mom's place or whatever. And they had never mentioned the toothpaste that his mom has or like it even talked about it at all. But he used it. Awesome. He had used it that whole weekend. The suspense is killing me. Yeah. He, oh, he used God, it that, that whole thing weekend. thing happened again, didn't it? And. We, Dan, did you literally cut out? Hello? No, I didn't cut out at all. Dan, this is not a joke. I'm, we assume that Dejan, you can hear Dejan us. Mustard? You guys can hear me now? Hello? Yes, we can hear you now. I don't know if you could hear us, but we kept asking if you were there. I could hear you the whole time. It was very annoying. Okay. It's 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 like being gaslit. No, it, it it is exactly like being gaslit, but in real time. But you realize <laughs> it's happening because I'm like I can hear you, and as from my perspective, you can hear me, and so you guys are like, he's doing that bit again. We can't hear him, but because you guys are both dicks, or not not because you're dicks, but because we're all like always joking around. Now hold on, I am voice, a dick. <laughs> okay, you guys' tone of voice though the whole time was like yeah fucking with me tone i don't know if you did it on purpose but you both went oh there goes Dion again i guess he's doing his bit hands on hips winks to camera and it's just like <laughs> are you guys actually fucking with me or you can actually not hear me and it, no, I the, the funny thing is every time it happens it happens at like a perfectly cut time right as you're about to say something that we're like intently listening to <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting there's always like you're about to say something and you're like and so I, <laughs> I don't know what to say that's why we thought it was a bit because like you you literally cut out at the perfect, perfect timing for that to be comical or just generally obnoxious <laughs> so Matt there's a little treasure waiting for you whatever Dion said at the end there you're gonna get to hear yeah it's gonna be great I get to or you can just remind me what I was saying before you guys I couldn't it. remember Matt do you remember what I was talking about this is this is one of those rare times where I'm going to be honest. I don't remember. Generally, my memory is pretty good enough to figure that out, but I do not recall. Look, if his oh, head was rounder, about? he'd have more folds in his brain for more memory. Why? <laughs> Why? Right. That time was. That sounds like genuine distress. You need Why? To stop. <laughs> Why? Why always my face, my brain? <laughs> it's oh, it's never, it's never, it's never anything about my body. It's always just my face. You know what, Matt? I'll give you a compliment because apparently my normal compliments aren't complimentary enough. You got Hey, nice... you look like Neanderthal. You know how everybody <laughs> loves them, right? I never... Hey, tons of people love cavemen. We wouldn't have an, a very successful co- series of commercials. There, 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 there's, no, no, that no, was... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. no, no, no that no, was... No, no, that no, no, was no. There is a joke here that <laughs> Matt is so easy a caveman can do it. Something <laughs> it works. Some, there, there's a joke there somewhere. Uh, where Matt's a slut. <laughs> Matt's a slut. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at, Matt. You're a woman magnet. <laughs> but where are they? Because I think I'm set on repel. No, you you set on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of a, a W for Wombo situation for you. <laughs> I just can't. There's there's nothing. I'm grasping at straws on this one. Oh, you know, you know, you know. We almost, we almost, we almost had the ability to buy houses. For a week, no, I think for three days, America had banned the import of avocados, and therefore avocado toast. Yeah. Um, but then they listed the ban like three days later, so now we're screwed again. No more avocados, and that lasted three fucking days. <laughs> Genuinely, like upwards of seventy percent. I think it's almost eighty percent, maybe, of the avocados that we have come from Mexico. This would have, if this had lasted any longer, this would have it's it would have decimated the, the entire population of California. Oh. Oh, genuinely. No, genuinely. We would have went out of business. No, no, no. So this is actually a thing that was considered. Do you want extra guanc? Yeah, I love guanc. That's $15. Bucks. It's, $10. It's, no, it's $10 for a, for a spoonful of guanc. And not the big spoonful that they use for the meat. They give uh, you a syringe spoon. and just start injecting <laughs> just like 30 Straight like cc's of guac. 30 cc's of avocado directly into my vein. <laughs> give me no, that green juice, daddy-o. It was just interesting. Because the comments were, OMG, guys, millennials will finally be able to afford houses. And I love that shit. Because <laughs> that's the thing holding us back. Okay, this is like that panel of nic- the, um, uh, tobacco company CEOs that were asked if they believe that nicotine was addictive. But because the question was if they believe 
It was addictive. They could answer no, and they all exactly. swore to it that the answer was no. Everyone knows happened. that it's everyone who's got even an, an iota of a brain cell could buy vaping money. Uh, knows I that got, vaping is bad for you. I got but, a vape pen from my partner from the smoke shop down the street. She used it for a few days, and then she uh, read the like all the information on it because she always reads all the things that we get for stuff. Like the instructions or the safety stuff or the warranty stuff. And it was like, yeah. if you use the register code, it doesn't work. You may have a fraudulent device. Do not use fraudulent devices. They can give you cancer. It's almost verbatim what it said. And she used the code, the registration code. And it said that that registration code had been used over 70,000 times. But up, up, but up, up. And it, in that single experience stopped her from vaping ever i gotta say that's good on her but i'll tell you as soon as i get anything in the mail the instructions bam go out the window i'm gonna build this desk all by myself shit where does this go and then i i get into a fit of rage because i'm an idiot and um good for her because i would never read the directions and, I never and read then the instructions. he pulls so... out his then he pulls out his sweet baby vape stick and he takes a big old puffums and spits out just a fat cloud that's what he does every time he puts together his IQ. It helps me see so clearly by being obfuscated. <laughs> it helps me see clearer by making it harder to see things. If it's like... I learned that my visual sight is what's limiting me. I need to have my mental sight. I need to reach inwards. If it's like a thing, I'm following those instructions. You know, if it's a desk or a chair or like <laughs> a thing. But here's the thing. If it's, any, if it's a piece of electronic equipment, bin that shit. I know how electronics work. I got it. <laughs> And then three years later, wait, it could do that? <laughs> <laughs> that so, 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 so she actually has shown me things. She's actually shown me things where I, she's like, oh, why don't you just use the shortcut feature? I'm like, what are you talking about? And then she'll like show me. And I'm just like, I didn't know it did that. I read it in the instructions. I'm just like, fucking instruction. But I've built things from a They were never had a single problem. If you and this and then this is if you take the things out of the box and the bags, organize them by letter like it is displayed on the first fucking page, and then go through the instructions, you never have a problem. I don't understand that. I I I've definitely built some things where picture like C to D or instruction three to four. I'm like okay, okay. I can visually see how you got there. But uh, how did you get there? <laughs> but because uh, you, 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 I must be an <laughs> idiot. Because I don't know how you got from there to there. Because basically, because what they would do is that you have, you know, I built a bed frame uh, a couple months ago and it's the same thing where it's like on this, on side one, Ooh. this is what you do. <laughs> I was like, cool. But what about side two, three, and four that are actually different sizes and have different components? You didn't explain that. And now I had to, I had to, fiz I had to logically deduce what I needed to do. So my, and I'm like, yeah, my, it makes sense now, like but that. you did not explain that. My this example shit. of that is when, uh, when putting together like a more like my least favorite yeah. thing is where it's like here's how you put these four pieces together and you mm, know you that you need one. four of these pieces and your brain is like okay well then i should do this four time but then you realize oh i have one that is different and you're like all right well where's the instructions logically it would be included beside the one that has the three that i just did it's six pages after that because they're just like <laughs> no 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 you don't need to put that together yet and i'm like well, then why would i it's almost identical to the three i did put together so, so we bought a bed but i moved into the apartment before my, par my partner did and so the bed came on the day that i moved in which was great or the day after um because that was a week before my partner moved in so i had a bed set up for us when she got here which is great so I I also don't know how the delivery driver got the bed up to my door. And I'm on the second floor of my apartment complex. And I remember getting an email like, your bed's been delivered. And I go to the door and the frame is there. The box is there. And I'm like, oh, cool. And I look downstairs and the dude is there. And I'm like, oh, cool. Let me go put on a shirt and shoes real quick. Help you bring up the bed part. And he's like, cool. I go put on shirt and shoes and go back to the door. And it's there. The mattress is there. The bed frame is there. The dude, I go to, I, I'm like, oh shit. I, I look down, no one's there in the in the stairway. I go to run to my balcony, and the dude is driving away. <laughs> I mean, it I, must have been. I a hate full, to tell you, I think your box was delivered by a ghost. I it, it must have been a full single. I want to say, minute thirty 
maybe 90 seconds. Man's is like, I ain't letting this man show me up. So here's the thing. He, I and he carried it all one help. trip, too. Like, the, he, he ain't no bitch. The dude, the dude was visibly skinnier than me. I'm a hefty dude now, right? Not weak, but I'm not strong. I don't work out. But, like, I can carry my own weight. I go. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the box that has the bed frame in it. And immediately and, throws and out his bag. The, he immediately and, shits and, his and, pants. And, there's the, and then there's the um, bag that has the mattress in it. The box that has the bed frame and stuff in it. It's like kind of heavy. And I'm like, ugh. I can't believe he did this by himself. He should have waited. And I drag it inside. And I'm just like, whew. That's nah, he did it so that he could get the uh, workman's comp. And then, and then I go to grab the mattress, and so it's a it's it's like a zip mattress. It's rolled. It's been mm. rolled up. And I go to grab it, and I don't move. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of that Willy. Do you remember the Willy Wonka remake? No. Where uh, <laughs> yes. Where the Willy Wonka's dad works for a toothpaste, uh, uh, manufacturer. No. Are you, yeah. which one? Are you, are you talking about the the, the, jo- the, the Johnny Depp one? No. So Will, uh, not Willy Wonka's dad. Uh, the kid, uh, Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Charlie's dad works for a toothpaste factory, mm-hmm. and he brings home um, defective parts of toothpaste tubes <laughs> for Charlie to build a scale replica, or not a scale replica, a model of the Willy Wonka chocolate factory out of toothpaste parts, and that's all what? you've brought to mind. The original, the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is one of my partner's favorite movies. Like, straight up, one of her other, her third favorite movie, at least we get the name right. Die Hard. I wish. Ace of Base. <laughs> it's a Christmas movie, you know? What is that movie called? I don't remember. Airplane. Um, Nick, I'm going to ask you to help me remember what the movie's mm-hmm. called. So oh, it's I love this. this. Where, I love this song. Um, <laughs> where, where the Nick two fuckers the with ADHD, goddamn, trying to remember one thing, and then 20, 20 minutes later, we're like, oh, what happened? I was like, you didn't. You talked oh, about right, the we'll movie. You talked about a movie title, and then you went on about, I don't know, Sawdust, it's, and then okay, all of a so, sudden, so, we're here so, about so planet exploration. I don't know how we got here. Us, if you'd let us get to it, we'd, we'd be done already. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, <laughs> we've have, we me, have 20 goddamn me, five episodes of this well, shit. I don't believe you for a second. pick my vast fields of random knowledge, Matt. Go, piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I think I figured it out. It's Apocalypto. So, uh, so, so, okay. so her fav- I was going to describe it. And I, I was trying really hard to figure out like a way to make it. Mel Gibson as uh, techish movie. Cave I was gonna, yeah. I was I was like, how do I describe this in a way that Nick doesn't come off racist for thinking of it immediately? <laughs> you didn't. There was no scenario where I made you guess Apocalypto where you didn't sound racist. Yeah. Um, so I figured it out. So 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 her favorite movie is Pan's Labyrinth. One her second favorite movie is Apocalypto. Do you remember Mr. Smith, uh, Matt? I never watched it. Nick. I I, I remember it. Yes, it's it's a, it it's, is a movie. It's bad. It's bad. It's, bad. it's a listen, movie. Listen, I watched it at that point in time where you couldn't like dislike any movie. Like, there's an important time when you're a kid where any movie that you get forced in front of, you kind of like, end up yeah, liking. Yeah, I saw Ant Farm Dickhole. It's the best movie on the planet. <laughs> There, there, there is a point in time as a child. Now, Nick, where you're just I know like, you and your eclectic taste in movies. Something tells me that's an actual movie. It <laughs> is. This guy shoots my no, out of we're penis. done. I just, I, I just want a clarification. Yes or no? I do not need any more words out of you. <laughs> I could go on and on about teeth. I oh, don't, don't so talk about that. My, my goddamn yeah, fucking. No one wants to ever talk that, about that. My movie. stupid ass ex girlfriend, not not my current one, but one of them, maybe watch that on Hoot a second that date, word. as if that was a good idea. Yeah, that, <laughs> that needed. That told me all I needed to know about you, ma'am. <laughs> exactly. Right? I was like, like, okay, I think we're done. It's like, oh, you don't want to fool around? No. <laughs> what about that movie made you think that I was any bit excited? I'm sorry. So if you can't tell, my partner's uh, thing with movies is like Spanish traumatic, like like Apocalypto, Spanish Labyrinth. It's just like, why do you? Uh, uh, Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory. She apparently she she hates horror films, but traumatic war films. Oh, she then loves. she would love pretty much every Guillermo del Toro movie that isn't. She loves Game of Tomorrow. Yeah, she does. Like the orphanage, uh, Devil's Backbone. She actually does like all of these. Shape of Water. I think she seems to be water, but she hasn't gotten me to watch There's it. There's a fish man that gets fucked in that one. Oh goodness! What? I hope not. It's my mom watched that movie and she's like, "I did not expect that." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> I didn't expect there to be a monster fucking scene in a Guillermo del Toro movie." 
Like now that it's happened, I'm honestly, not surprised. No, no, given honestly, I don't know, Hellboy. The fact that you said that, I'm not surprised. Like I've, I've seen his movies, I'm not surprised. Did you know Ron Perlman played Beast in the Beauty and the Beast TV show? <laughs> <laughs> sure no yeah, but that sounds great that. oh my god i never realized he was slayed how did i not know that that's weird that you didn't know that um because sidebar to your sidebar uh teen titans was star studded my dude. <laughs> dude seriously I'm not, I'm not even joking so cyborg also is a famous voice actor um uh, what's his name um uh uh oh my who's that dude who's that dude oh my uh, um, George Takei. Thank you. George Takei. Yeah, uh, he's an Avatar. Yeah, Avatar yes. was star studded. Star studded. Our 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 entire childhood and most of our adolescence and a decent part of our adult cartoon history is like held, upheld by like six voice actors <laughs> overall. To like actually. Lance Reddick. Lance Reddick shows up a lot. Oh, I was playing. Lance, Lance uh, Reddick is in Mass Effect and in um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I was, no? yeah. He's also yes. in Quantum Break. Yep. <laughs> with with the two dudes who play Marion and and Pippin from Lord of the Rings, and uh, the dude who plays Littlefoot or not Littlefoot. Uh, Game I mean, of like, I could I could definitely Littlefinger. like spend Littlefinger. Thank you. The dude who plays Littlefinger is the villain in Quantum Break. I'm like. Why are you all in this game? <laughs> I He's Zavala. Go... Lance Reddick or Lance Lance Reddick is also Zavala oh, Reddick, in Destiny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Um Lance Reddick is um a superstar. Um I could uh, listen, it's Black History Month. I could go through all of the amazing black voice actors that have littered our entire childhood oh, and adolescence. Uh the dude who played Atlas in a uh, uh, God of War. He's a very famous black oh, voice yeah. actor as well. Michael Clark Duncan. Yes, Michael Clark Duncan, my man. I think he's dead now. <gasps> Why you do that to me? Yeah, he died in 2012. Why you do that to me? Cuz he also was Kingpin at one point. And I really liked his Kingpin cuz his Kingpin was just a fucking buff ass dude. Uh, and that's what we hear at. Wait, no, that's the wrong show. Bleep that. <laughs> Jesus fuck. That's what we, we hear at all podcasts. No pizza, whatever the fuck we've named this show at this point. Oh my god. God damn it. Let me try that again. Did you, did you just assume you were. <laughs> I just fucked up twice. My brain was half awake. I, thought, for a second. I, I thought all podcasts so no pizza was, a, was an intentional joke. Like, not <laughs> even. Well, first to, the first one was even close. Close. No pizza. The first one was completely different podcast. <laughs> I just, did you just, That's what we hear at all topics. No pizza, believe you should. We, we learn hear it all names. podcasts. No pizza. <laughs> all topics. No pizza. <laughs> Nick, did you just learn the about... names of the, of mm. the voice actors in your Nick. favorite series of things. I'm moving Nick. on. Did you just come from a different universe where you were on? No, I came from a different universe where I was just not paying attention. And my brain was like, <laughs> all right, podcast. <laughs> and the first podcast me? name that came to brain was... <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. God. So this... You just were like, yeah, this is part of our franchise. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to buy them out. They're going to buy us out. They're never going to want this. <laughs> anyway. They're going to want this. All right. I got a question. I got a question. You can freeze the world at any time. No, I already did this question. Time of day. Shit. Okay. Fuck. Matt, do you have a question? You don't get it. You don't do questions often. You get a question. Can you, you a question, Toby. Tell me you're not prepared. I get a question. Tell me you're not prepared. You get a question. <laughs> oh. I'm done with the question for the day. Okay. You're in a room full of monkeys. How long before they turn gay? Uh, based on... Uh, based on the uh, Dion no Penis more Index. No a thousand years. Based on, be on, the, based on the Hora Penis Index. Uh. <laughs> I feel like you've missed the point entirely. <laughs> a- approximately as long as it takes you to be peer pressured into admitting you're bisexual. Honestly, less than a hundred years. Like most, admit it. like most people admit it. If they were being tortured, you'd admit it. <laughs> if if Zossel, it, look, man, if Zosselamel from uh, Soul Caliber Three. Is there anything to go on? Listen, listen, it no, takes no, no, no. you less yeah, than yeah, a thousand yeah, years yeah, yeah, to try yeah, yeah, every yeah. way to kill yourself. I'm go- I'm gonna get most women and men in the same in the same question. Uh, if you were in an interrogation room with Zendaya mm-hmm. and Tom Holland, how long would it take you to admit that you're bi? Hold on, before I, I answer could... that question, I need to do an age check. <laughs> I need to do an age check. <laughs> Hold <They're> on. Both... <laughs> All right, she's twenty five. Yeah, they're both twenty something. <laughs> 
All right, he's 25. <laughs> two <stupid>. seconds. <laughs> I'd walk in, see Zendaya, see T- Tom Holland, look around for a bed. Be like, am I on a hidden camera show or are we doing this? It's, a, it's an interrogation. <laughs> uh, it's not an interrogation if those two are sitting in the same room. Uh, okay, All you need yeah, is okay, Timothy uh, Chalamet okay, okay, and you okay, got okay, yourself a hot okay. quad now, going the, on. Now we're talking. Back. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, let me rephrase the question. Um, if it's if you're if you're in an interrogation room with Zendaya and Tom Holland, how long until you can get him to spoil the new Spider Man? <laughs> about based two seconds. Based on everything I've heard, yeah. <laughs> based on everything I've heard, about two seconds. <laughs> about two seconds. <laughs> so here's the question, Dion. Because because how, I'm gonna okay, focus so, so, on so, your so, so, bias. No, 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 Nick, Nick, Nick. Here's the question based on your answer. Who's asking the question? Seconds, I'm asking the questions. Though. I'm the captain now. Nick, you said it was two seconds till you admit you're buying. You're saying it's two seconds till you can get Tom Holland to admit anything about the new Spider movie. Yeah. How how gay do you have to be to <laughs> understand the new plot of the Spider Man movie? How the gay obvious do you have to be? What is happening? I, don't, I can't tell if he's digging on Nick, the Spider Man movies, or Tom Holland, or all three. I'm not really sure what's going look, on. Right man, now. I'm, I'm trying to correlate the three things that we just discussed, which the, were not what I intended. At all. No, the real question is Timothy Chalamet. Or Tom Holland. Chalamet, all the way. Is. Hold on, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to get a picture. A good picture, of Tommy boy. God damn it, that was great. No one, no one paid attention to it. Yeah, I, I heard it. It was great. I shared his picture. Hold on, I gotta share an equally sexy picture of Tom Holland. Uh, this is not the person I was thinking of. <laughs> you were thinking of um the one from One Direction. No, not at all. Harry Styles. I, I was Styles. not at all. No. Okay. I was I thinking of thinking Timothy of Oliphant. You were thinking of Timothy Oliphant? Yeah. Not not the same person. Not the same person at yeah. all. But all of it, my man. But, <laughs> now you know who that dude. person is because you said Hold that person on, I'm so fast. Hold on, picture of him too. You said this person immediately. Uh, okay, well, wait, wait, we no. know who Matt's oh, going for. Wait, 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 wait The wait, main character of the Hitman movies. Hang on, what? hang on, hang on. Honestly, yeah, he, Matt, he played Agent Forty Seven in the pilot shit Hitman movie. What? I'm, honestly, I don't what? blame Matt for saying that. That was really fast, but I don't blame you. Oh yeah, no, Timmy the Elephant's attractive. Except uh, he, in the Hitman movies. I think that he... I think that this guy is more attractive in his heyday than... Um, what's that dude? Um, Ocean's Eleven, <laughs> the old guy. George Clooney. Yeah, okay. I feel like uh, this guy, Timothy Oliphant, better looking than Ocean Clooney. In their prime, at the same time, I'm going to go that I don't blame Matt for saying that Tim, Tim was a good looking dude. All I'm saying... Is if you put a gun to my head and told me to decide who was Brad Pitt and who was Benicio Del Toro, I'd let you pull the fucking trigger. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks everybody for listening. We started with some risque anime and ended up with the voice actors of our childhood and we, just like you guys, have no idea how we got there either. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next Thursday. If you would like to support us, we have a Patreon page and I, Rumors, upload to YouTube and I've also published two books. You can support us that way as well, if you'd like. And and that's what we'll be here at... Wait, no, that's the wrong show. Bleep that. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. That's what we, we hear at all podcasts, no pizza, whatever the fuck we've named this show at this point. Oh, my God. God damn it. Let me try that again. Nick, Nick can you take like a half a step back? Hmm. You're, you're picking a mat completely. No, oh, sorry. But he used it. Awesome. That, he had used it that whole weekend. The suspense is killing me. Yeah. He, he oh, used God, it that, that whole weekend. thing happened again, didn't it? And. We, Dan, did you literally cut out? Hello? No, I didn't cut out at all. This is not a joke. I'm Dejan Mustard?